Isn't it nice getting up early? Is, is it? It's not as if getting up early changes what you can do with the day. Yes, it does. It opens up possibilities, such as responding to Commander Kamado's invitation today in a timely manner. Well, I got the same invitation, and I had to wake up even earlier than you to run all the way here for it. Come on, no need to grouse so much over a nice little early wake up. Are you coming too? I'm sure we can all guess at what the commander wants, uh, wants with us. Yes, do come. Galaxy Hall is quite close anyway. Cut close and far and whatnot. Yeah. Talk, I, talk I appreciate the amount that they've jammed space and time into both of their... Mm. Into their dialogue. Boy, the loading screens have just been... They've been... Long. Yeah, for very prolonged. Like, it's not that bad, but... On the but... topic of time. Yeah. It's okay, but it's just... I don't know. I... I wish for loading screens like this, it would let you specifically manage, like, your party. Like, move your boxes around. Just something basic. We look like players on a game board. Yeah, we kind of do. You know, red, blue, yellow, and green. Just the yep. classic gameplay pieces. All right, now we're going to play Monopoly. I'm lonely. I don't remember. You never had colors in Monopoly. You're it right. Sorry. Pieces. We're now playing Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Which, by the way, I'm not. You've now quelled the frenzy of four nobles. On to the next one. When, lo when where did these frenzies arrive from all over Hisui? I feared what would become of us. But here we are, already preparing to quell the final noble. Yeah, who would have dreamed some stranger who tumbled out of the sky would be our salvation? Life never does stop surprising you. The only lord left to be quelled is Avalug, which lives in the Al Alabaster Icelands. Avalug? Is it the giant... It's the giant, like, ice steel I... or whatever. Huh. Oh, wait a minute. It was the one that it's... I really liked the look it of. It looks like a turtle, right? Or... It was... Dinosaur? Yeah, it had, like, the big, big jaw. Mm-hmm. It's also the largest of the nobles, according to what Irota told me. We're gonna have to quell it from its back or something. Uh... Your mission is to quell Avalog, the final lord. Perhaps in doing so, we may trigger some change in the space-time rift as well. <laughs> Avalug may be the Pearl Clan's noble, but my clan and the Galaxy team will have to step up to resolve this too, for the sake of a brighter future. Then let us all meet in the cold reaches of Alabaster Icelands. Until then. I might want some hot cocoa or something. Yeah. Having a nice warm drink sounds good. No matter how many of these frenzied Pokemon you make well, the fact remains that you are a stranger to our world. No small number of people still regard you with suspicion and distrust. The most you can hope for is to gain the trust of as many people as possible, and to do that, you must prove yourself through your actions. I think our character has more than proven themselves. Yeah, the rest of you shits haven't do done well, anything. Uh, hey. Yeah. <gasps> what? What happened? Oh. Oh. I suppose it should have been more like a uh, for the gya. Uh, uh, Abra, teleport this wormple outside at once. Ahem. So, you're to survey the Alabaster Icelands next. This is the most treacherous climb that you'll face in all of Hisui. It would not be an exaggeration to say that you might be the only one among the Survey Corps. I can ask with with surveying the Alabaster Icelands. Task. Oh, task. 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 Surveying. Surveying the Alabaster Icelands. Alabaster. It. It's a. It's a kind of white clay, isn't it? That I you use to make. Think so. Sculptures and such. 
It's quite pretty. It can be very smooth. You know your orders. See your mission through. Alabaster. Mineral or rock that is soft. Yeah, but you see often it Often used sculptures. for carving is processed for plaster powder. Yeah, so it's often used for like those classic uh, Greek or Roman sculptures. Mm -hmm. It's really pretty. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, alabaster is really nice. Well, that was easy enough. I kind of need bag space, but not overwhelmingly. <laughs> Going up to the farm? Yeah, I want to go see, if, see if I can get some mints. Whoa. Well, looks like they might still be growing. Yep, just a bit more time. Oh, Never that, actually that seen garden it. looks really pretty now. I mean, the farmland, yeah, I should say. Yeah, it does. Wait, who's that in the back? Who do they have with them? Oh, no, they're just crouched. I thought that there was another Pokemon for an instant. Nope, it's another person person. So we're to make for the Alabaster Icelands. Yup. I see. Of course, I'm all too aware of the injuries done to some of our own good people because of the frenzies of other nobles. There seemed little choice but to intervene. But this Avalog out in the Alabaster Icelands hasn't harmed a soul, as I hear it. Does it really behoove us to go out of our way to subdue him? If Avalog is as great and mighty as they say, he could very well cause avalanches. Avalanches don't require any Pokemon's help. They occur per perfectly well on their own, you know. I confess I still have my doubts on whether we should be even getting involved in this case. No damage has been done so far, but if we send Hero out there, we'll be putting him in danger of real harm. But if the Lord is suffering in its frenzy, like people say, then wouldn't it be kinder to quell it? There's simply so much we don't understand when it comes to the noble Pokemon. We don't know whether their frenzies truly are causing them to suffer, nor do, the, nor do we know why they enter these states in the first place, or if this is all connected somehow to the space-time rift. What is it, I wonder, that the commander hopes will come about from our quelling the nobles? Or indeed, from surveying any of the Pokémon of this land, what is it he hopes to achieve? Way to coexist? I certainly hope so. The goal of my research is to help build a future where everyone gets along with Pokémon. Professor Laventon? Eh, nothing to bother yourselves about. Doubtless I'm just being a silly sausage. You've got a miss mission to carry out, haven't you, Hero? Then we will support you in it. The best support I can offer you now is another chance to practice your battle skills. I'm gonna win. I'm just glad to get the opportunity to battle you. The fact that I've been able to grow so much as a Survey Corps member and work together with Pikachu is due to you joining us. Big. All right, Kari's challenged you to do battle. To battle. Mr. Mine. Why? Go sluggy. Beat that mime up. Make it go away. <laughs> Let's see. Mr. Mime is another example of humanoid to the point of being uncomfortable. I mean, Mr. Mime just is uncomfortable to begin with. Like, there's a hundred percent a world where Mr. Mime would not be as problematic as he is, but I don't know. You'd really have to... Oh! Actually, there is! There's, there's the, um... Was it the Galarian version that looked, like, really dapper? Really? Yeah! I don't remember what it looks like, but... Staravia. What? Oh. Just happened. Damaged by the recoil. Oh, it's it's called Mr. Rhyme. It... Like, it looks... They look like a cross between the planter's peanut man and... But is its face really on its stomach? No, no. Its face is on its face. It just has kind of a face stomach thing going on, too. I... 
Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. I don't know. It's horrifying. It's horrifying, but it's not as horrifying as a Mr. Mime. Is my point. It'd be cool if there was a hand Pokemon. Good lord, I forgot how big Gudra is. Mm hmm. The Well, also, you had gotten an alpha, right? Yeah, I got the alpha. I got the biggest version. Hello, Bigachu. I'm sorry, Bigachu. Yeah, we still haven't found an alpha Pichu or Pikachu. Yeah. I think that might be a random spawn from the, uh... Oh, uh, shoot. What is it? What is it? From one of those, like, time vortexes? But whatever. Mm. There's just something so natural about the sight of you and your Pokemon fighting together. About your mission to the Icelands. Well, it will be a challenge. Be careful out there. As for me, I'll set off for the Alabaster Icelands forthwith. See you there, my boy. And she's just kind of not a character. Yeah, I, I thought that she'd be doing more. I mean, I guess but, like most rivals are kind of also just not characters in these games. And then what also happened in the merchant guy? Is he going to... He just kind of shows up and is weirdly cryptic every once in a while. Mm -hmm. That's about it. Do we think this is the last region or is there like maybe one more? Because it feels like there might be maybe it's supposed to be one here. Yeah. I don't know. It probably is. but Because there's space for like a couple of spots, but this might be the last one. I mean, you only have the one noble to defeat. Oh, there's one more, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. Well, it's probably something involving the Rift and Dialga and Palkia. Yeah. Ooh, pretty. And there's more ruins in the distance. Alabaster Icelands. I miss snow. Me too. It's part of why we're moving. My word, it's rather chilly here, isn't it? Glad to see you made it safe and sound in any case. Very few venture to these Alabaster Icelands, apart from Tao Hua leading the Odd Supply Corps excursion to gather materials. But the Survey Corps, of course, must go anywhere the Pokemon are found. From what I gather, Ice Peak Arena, where you'll find Avalug, is rather far off, I'm afraid. Doubtless this mission to tackle Avalug will be another dangerous one. Learn all you can from Irida and Adaman to keep yourself safe. I want to learn flying. Hero, brisk here, isn't it? How aren't you freezing? Freezing? I'm practically sweating. If you think this is bad, just wait. This is nothing compared to where we're headed. You know, I'm beginning to think the problem between us isn't a Diamond Clan and uh, Diamond Clan thing or a Pearl Clan thing. It's just just a you and me thing. We'll never see eye to eye on anything, will we? I don't see how we could, as long as you and your clan cling to your vision of an almighty Sinnoh that reigns over time. Forgive my bluntness, but if such a being even does exist, it's certainly not almighty Sinnoh. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, believe what you want. Just tell us where we have to go. We're headed to see my teacher, and he's only ever been found in one place. Which is? You're talking about that Garrick fellow, right? Where do we find him? At Avalog's legacy, obviously. Where else but a great mass of ice could I have meant when I said that we're headed somewhere even colder? Where else indeed? Ready to go, hero? Sure. Stomp off without me. This is why I can't stand people who only care about whether time is passing them by. See you at Avalog's legacy, hero. Take care. On your way. I don't like her. Oh, it's Snorunt. Oh, yeah, you'll see, you'll find a number of ice types here, probably. Uh-oh. Just a little short. Bango. I wonder if we'll find the ice vulpix. Maybe? 
I, I maybe we won't, but it would be cute. Okay. Oops. Did you just take a berry or eat a berry or? No, there was randomly uh, an ultra ball that somehow made it out of there. Mm. I think these might be like rewards. I'm going to snag a number of these. Holy moly, I have a lot of firestones. And thunderstones too, by the looks of it. Yeah. Do you only have one water stone? Uh, yep. And a shiny stone and a couple of dawn stones. I, I've got a number of evolution items. Not many. But they're there. I wonder if the dawn stone in this would be um for Espeon or if they're just I having think... Espeon be the friendship again. Yeah, I don't know. And during the daytime only. Let's see. Anything else? Nope. Okay, so far so good. I have... Okay, Ooh. this map seems big. It's immense. Do we want to hyper boost something? Maybe? I mean, Sleepy could use a couple levels. Scissor could use levels if you still want to use Scissor. I guess we might as well just use it on Sleepy. Because no matter what, like, we're just going to be using Sleepy. What about Scizor? They should be at least level 50. No, that's a good point. All right. Eat candy, <laughs> bug boy. Well, yum, yum, yum. Lady. Oh, bug lady. You're right. Let's have some rare candies. Uh... Yeah, sure. Okay, that's quite a bit. That's Are a you big gonna scissor. evolve Sneasel oh, at all or no? Uh, I, you know, I was actually gonna maybe get the Alpha. Ah, uh, I see. Well, that makes sense. Because we're gonna be getting an Al we're going to be getting an Alpha somewhere in this area. It is the other thing I need to do. Oops. What are the grit pebbles used for again? So grit dust is used for leveling up stats. Mm. Uh, so you're just leveling up attack. Yeah. Why is it only compatible with Scissor, though? Uh, because it maxes out at level 3. And then I gotta use the higher level 1. Ah. Yeah, so then we use these. To boost its HP. It boosts the HP by 4 points. I don't know how much it boosts attack. But it does actually have, like, a... I don't want to say, like, a notable difference, but... I definitely noticed I was getting smacked around a lot less once I had actually leveled these up. Unfortunately, getting the highest level stuff takes a lot of work. Okay. Normally we explore, but I think I want to go fast. I would like to see at least see the Pokemon that are around here. Oh, man. Um, well, hmm. so I would agree with you. But I think pretty soon we get the ability to fly. Wait, what's that in the end of the... Oh, it's a cave. Yeah, it's a little ice cave. I like Snorunt's design. I wish its evolved version wasn't just kind of a weird spike orb head. Mm -hmm. I know it's supposed to be based... Oh, swine up. And mammoth swine. Uh oh. It's angry. I caught your baby. Oh. Pillow swine. Uh. Oh, pillow swine? Mammoth swine, I believe, is the final evolution. Oh, okay. And mammoth swine looks really stupid. <laughs> and P pilot swine looks kind of goofy, too. Mm hmm. I do think it's a cute touch that they have when they have it cry out that the you can see above, the tiny little eyes yep the yeah fluff above its eyes lift yeah didn't mammoth swine get crazy open eyes with blue around them yeah 
It almost looks like a different Pokemon. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's what you're referring to. Yeah. It's like, it's fine. Uh, mm. A snow pile. Snowballs. I wonder what you do with a snowball. I guess I can probably catch one of these things if I have to. Oh, did I? Did you what? I got rid of my smoke bombs. Ah, uh, don't bother with this one now. You don't even like its design. I don't, but I catch alphas because money. Nope. Ow. Well, that definitely didn't work. What level are you? 62. Like, his face looks cool. I just wish it had the rest of its body. That's really what it boils down to. Burn. Glail. Glail. Glaily. It looks like a, uh... It looks like a hollow from, um, Bleach. Hmm. I haven't read or seen any of that really. It's this it just it looks akin to a skull. Yeah. I wouldn't mind watching Bleach again. I say with some trepidation. <laughs> it was a good show, but it ended poorly. Uh um, uh, that's it, always unfortunate. So the unfortunate thing about it is I I Oh, gosh. Don't give anything away. Well, no, 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 no. It's uh, it's more the kind of classic thing of, oh boy, this is like one of the banger series. Who oh, hey, it's Obama the Obama Snow. Snow. Ob Obama Snow. Mm-hmm. I don't like its eyes that much. Oh, no, that didn't work. Like, I'm, I'm not big on its eyes, but it is actually a pretty good grass, grass type. Because that's the grass ice. Yeah. No, I don't know. Don't we already we already have a grass type in our party? We do. We don't have ice. I but. I always feel a little guilty for having multiple starters in my party, though. It feels like it's it's cheating. Eh, not exactly cheating so much as just kind of tacky. If that makes sense, it's, it's like. It's into when my friends and I would discuss what our ideal Pokemon teams would be, and we always made the rules. You know, no legendaries, and yeah, maybe only. It's like saying your starter. favorite color is red. What? Like I, I, it works, but it's just like there's so much more like nuance than just plain red. I don't know. I I think a lot of people would just say blue as their favorite color. Yeah. Ooh. I I guess you wouldn't get to. People saying, I I prefer a cerulean, but it must be closer to the azul side. I think, the, cerulean. I, think I would probably Science. say the same thing about, like, what's your favorite food? Burger. It's like, okay. <laughs> I, I understand. It's like, I, I know there's a safety in it. I'm probably being too dismissive. But, like, some part of me is just like, but there's a world of food beyond burger. Just like there's a world of color beyond... Um, uh, you had said red before. Yeah, there's a world of color beyond red. There's a world of food beyond beyond burger. There's a world of Pokemon beyond just starters. Uh, heck, I'm even kind of thinking the next uh, Pokemon game I play, I, I straight up just like make a rule. Oh, hey, look, there's a, a apparently it's a Machamp, but yep. it's the. Like, I, I might actually just make a rule that the next Pokemon game we play, we don't have a fire, grass, or water. Like, just none of those. Hmm. Sup, chump? <laughs> Finances? Oh boy. That's a tough Machamp. Burn, baby, burn. Why, why are we? Why finances? Oh, because we were looking at finances prior to this. Yeah, but... Is it actually going to hit? Oh, shit. That actually hit. Yeah. That actually hurt. Well. 
Ouch. It is level 70. Uh, I don't have any flying types, do I? Nor do I have any psychics. I think we should just leave. Why are you fighting this thing? Must catch Alpha. Ow. <laughs> Must. That's any of these actually super effective? No. Oh, but this one does way more damage. Honestly, it's gonna knock me out. Let's just go strong style. It could just crit him. Yep. Oh well. Thank goodness. Not that I didn't want you to catch the Alpha Machamp, it's just... You don't like Machamp that much. No. It's... It once again falls Machamp into... and Golem were just like kind of terrible designs. I'd even go so far as to say like, I don't really like Gengar that much in comparison to Haunter. Mm-hmm. Like, Haunter was a really strong design. Big, kind of spiky head. Uh, if you if you had a third evolution with even more elaborate claws and... Which you know, is why just, I, I liked the Mega Gengar. Cause I it, think the problem was you went from Ghastly, which was just a floating head, mm -hmm. to Haunter, which was a floating head with floating hands. But then Gengar was a solid body yeah. and chubby and had all four limbs. It didn't fit. It, it was a ghost version of Clefable, which mm -hmm. I think works, but was kind of... What would have been interesting is if they had a completely separate evolution for the you know, final form of Haunter. And then they maybe, they maybe they should have had a new moon and full moon version of... Clefable and you know the Clef oh wouldn't that have been Clefgar wild or whatever wouldn't that be wild uh <laughs> switch it so yeah Clefairy oh oh and I don't know it would be really weird but maybe you even have it that during the day it's one and during the night it's the other well, no. yeah yeah wouldn't that be rad a Pokemon that changes its type and move set depending on time of day well that was easy That'd be interesting. But no, the problem with the new moon and full moon thing is that it would be something else entirely. Because even Clefairy was associated with... It had to evolve with the moonstone. Yeah. So you don't get... But like, I, I think it would have been really cool to have kind of this this Pokemon that, that really does just change up its whole typing depending on time of day. And you'd have mm -hmm. Clefa, Clefairy, and Clefable... And then, like, the ghost versions of them. Mm-hmm. And maybe you can have them hold an item or something that changes their type, or... Or maybe it's just based on their nature, or who knows. Yeah, but Gengar really did look an awful lot like a evil Clefable. I think it's... I think it's straight up, like, an intentional thing, like, put... Uh, I don't know if they pointed it out, but... Well, I, I was telling you before how it seems as though there are counterpart Pokemon. Yeah. And maybe there were designs that they ended up repurposing for something else. Bergamite. Bergamite. Bergamites are cute. Did they eventually become the Avalog? Yep. Avalog? And there's so many of them. So I can just kind of run around just biffing them. I don't think you're successfully catching all of them, though. Yeah, but why wait? Mm-hmm. But I was hoping for some more Ice-type Pokemon. Well, oh well, this area's got some. No, I was saying I was hoping for more. Oh, like more variety? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but let's stick around until we get flying. Wait, that's the... He's perfectly fine in this cold. Well, that was a real slog, fighting through those miserable icy winds to reach this destination, a uh, desolate bit of nowhere. Well done, us. This just this gentleman is Avalug's warden, and my most honorable teacher, Garrick. So, so some re show some respect, Adaman. Let's begin with some proper introductions. I'm Garrick. I serve as one of the Pearl Clan's wardens. And you must be Hero, right? Of the Galaxy Team. 
Answer me this, would you? On what grounds do you come here seeking to quell Lord Avalog? I was commanded to. That leads to my next question. What is wrong with him being frenzied? I don't know. What? Why are you saying that? Then I have another question for you. Setting aside any orders, what is it that your heart tells you to do? To... To, to quell his frenzy. Our mighty lord of the tundra, Avalog, has done nothing to trouble any person or Pokemon. <laughs> Sir, please try to keep your cool. For now, indeed, Avalog's causing no trouble. But aren't we also duty-bound to free our people from living in fear of such a colossal Pokemon? Might being... begin... wait... If that's such a colossal Pokemon, might begin to wreak havoc at any moment? We are, but there's certainly some logic to that. Uh, there's certainly some logic to that. But if that's what you hope to accomplish, then we must judge whether this child is up to the task. Who cares about grandstanding? Let's get to battling. Yes. The weird thing is it almost sounded as though you were talking yourself out of fighting Avalug. But... I just... It, illusion of choice, none of it matters. Mm -hmm. He's actually, like, kind of ripped. I wish they'd gone further in making him more pompadour muscular. pompadour mullet. Yeah, and he does. I don't know if I've ever seen a pompadour mullet. It's common in, uh, for, like, Yakuza types. Uh -huh. My musculature is as hard as un and unyielding as ice. Think you can break through? I like the upskirt on him that is just the sweatshirt void <laughs> that his legs just disappear into. Anyway, oh, he's cheating again. Well, it's fine. Oh, I forget her name, but... Oh, is this the alt version? Frost oh, Frostlass. Oh, no, that's just the mid-evolution. Also, it's level 24. I just feel bad. Wait. No, I thought Frostlass was a final evolution. Is it? Or is it, or is it an A B evolution? It might evolution? be an A B. Oh. Dual type Ice Ghost introduced in Gen Four evolves from a female Snorunt when exposed to a Dawnstone. Uh huh. Yeah, so it is an AB type. So Ice Ghost or just Ice. Oh my god, I never even knew about Mega Glale. Glalie. <laughs> Mega Glalie is terrifying. Holy shit. I really wish they kept the Mega Evolutions around. Outstanding. I'm tough as an iceberg, but you smashed me through and through. I suppose you can get on with it now. This one's all right. Thank you, sir. Some may still have their doubts about a stranger like Hero, but I'll vouch for him. Then if you insist on quelling Avalog's frenzy, you'll want to claim some of that eternal ice he likes and bring it to my lord's seat. Good luck. Eternal ice, is it? For that, you'll have to be able to fly, which means you need braviary. Long story short, you gotta seek out a young lady named Savvy. Tell the long story long. Wait. What? What is that supposed to mean? Tell the long story long. Like, actually tell the full story. Ah, uh, mm-hmm. Nah, that, I suppose that makes sense. You're not saving any time if we waste it puzzling about what you mean. Isn't Avalog one of the Pearl Lord, uh, Pearl Clan's lords? It seems a bit odd for me to do the talking. But fine, listen up. The Eternal Ice stuff can be found atop Avalog's legacy here. But to get there, you need my clan's help. Not even a Sneasler can climb up this surface, let alone a person like you or me. You're going to have to approach by air, with Braviary's help. Garrick once managed to climb nearly to the top of Avalug's legacy. I'll have you know. He says that he's made it w within six feet of the top. M might make some right, or at least height. And, uh, about Sabi. How do I put this? Even when she's not flying with Braviary, she's got her head in the clouds. Well, you'll understand once you meet her. Head towards Snowpoint Temple. And you'll probably come across her sooner or later. What? Sabi! Oh. Already with the Braviary. My Clairvariance told me that I'd lead you on a chase. Think you can reach me? I see what you mean about Sabi, but why would she be up there? 
Seems you better focused on focus on pursuing Warden Savi, and let me focus on my workout while I still can. Well, all right. I mean, I'm assuming we just have to find her in a number of different locations on the map. Mm -hmm. Hello, hat child. Hello, my name's Savi. Nice to meet you, hero. Pleasure's all mine. I've heard about you. You're super talented, right? I bet you're gonna be fun to play with. I know why you're here, too. You want Braviary's help so that you can quell Avalok's frenzy, don't you? Well, you'll get in. If you can catch me first. Let's go, Braviary. You really could have put in the effort in to have an animation of her flying off. Yeah, just jumping on Braviary's back and... Yeah, it doesn't off. even have to be a good animation. Just an animation. We break my legs. <laughs> break my legs. Get there faster. Speed mode. Oh, actually, where are where is she? Oh, well, this is faster if we. Oops. Can you? Can you really teleport? Nope. Or is that reset everything? Nah. Hi. I would like to switch my sneezel up for my sneezel. If I can find it. Uh. Oh, did you find the Alpha Sneasel? Yeah, we did get it. What's their summary? Doesn't matter. It big. Yeah, higher speed, lower special attack. I'll take it. Well, special defense. Yeah, sorry. I Ideally, what I'd like is higher speed, lower special uh, attack, since this is not a special attacker. What else is there? What does Berg, Berg might turn into? Well, what is Hisuian? Uh, Hisuian... Avalog. Well, yeah, isn't it more rocky? Or something? Yeah, ice rock. Mm-hmm. I don't know, I wouldn't mind that. Uh, let's take a look at some of these Berg mites. Just don't know who we'd switch out. Uh, let's see. Well, it's very clearly a special attacker, so I mean, that one's not bad. That's low special attack, high special defense. Well, sorry, it's a regular attacker, but it's special defense mm. is trash. Let's just continue. We have a good party. I know, but I want to try new things, maybe. Let's see. Is we it haven't this even one? tried Sneasel though. Oh wait, but we could probably get an elf Alpha Bergmite for Big Big Jaw. All right, and yeah, you're right. We haven't tried Alpha Sneasel. However, where's that claw? Because we might as well just like insta evolve it. Is that what's required? I, I'm assuming it's Razor Claw. Be odd if it wasn't. It did fall off of one of them. Yeah. But. Yeah, oop, compatible. Oop, oop. Ready to evolve. So instead of ever having the Weavile, yeah. Sneasler. I mean, we could actually do, Sneasler. we could do Sneasler and Weavile. Like those are, those are options because they have no crossover. Uh, let's check moves. What does it got? False swipe, a close combat sword stance, and poison jab. What's poison da jab's damage? Actually, pretty good. The only immediate problem is close combat. It's a great move, but it does not have a whole lot of PP on it. But whatever. It's enough. All right. So we're still trying Fair. to pursue her. Ursa Luna actually travels pretty swiftly. Uh, Ursa Luna goes really fast if it's got the scent of something. Mm. 
That is an A bomb. I care not for A bomb. Mm -mm. I mean, it's like it its evolution isn't a... terrible. Well, doesn't it just have more tails? It has more tails and it is bigger and like looks reasonably cooler. Mm-hmm. Oh, for a second I was like, is that a Joltik? Oh but look, no. there's a Golbat of some sort. Crobat. Or a Crobat. Yeah, yeah, but didn't we didn't we catch the Alpha we, Crobat? We did catch an Alpha Crobat. Which is like, eh. Maybe another game. Ooh. Hello. Is that a village in the distance? Uh oh, those tents? Yeah. I mean, that could be the Pearl Clan. Mm. It's just the Pearl Clan never seem to dress warmly enough. And this is the but Diamond they Clan might just girl. Be, but the Pearl Clan people might just be historically very warm people. Uh, uh-huh. Hero! You made it all the way up here in this cold. But the question is, did you catch me? Or did I let myself get caught? Hmm? Oh, and one more thing. Am I even really clairvoyant? No idea. Oh, no one but me could really know, right? Anyway, the challenge continues. The next stop of our merry chase is Snowpoint Temple. But the real question here is, am I really having fun playing with you, or am I bored? Hmm? Let's go, Braviary. I would not also mind getting a Braviary. What's up with the Braviaries? It's psychic type. Ah, uh, I was wondering. Yeah. It would make the, sense with her clairvoyance. The Hisuian variant is psychic. Uh, psychic flying? Yep, psychic flying. I would call it Big Hair Day. <laughs> we... Time to fall to my death. Ooh, a flame. Time to fall to my death. We. Oh, Sneasley does actually take falling damage. Mm -hmm. Today I learnt. Okay, we got anything else? Mm. Eh. Mm -mm. Is that a, that's a dust. You don't need dust clops. Dust clops. Dust. Clops. Yeah. Yeah. Is there like a third version? Oh, look! It's a little pre-evolution that we never saw or caught. Dust skulls are kind of cute. Big. Big. Big pile of swine. swine. Just. Ugh. Let's see. We got around here. I like Obama Snow's design. I think my only immediate problem with it is the pink eyes. Yeah. Oh, there's the evolved form of the a bomb. So it didn't grow more tails, probably not until the third evolution. Uh, no, no, no. It, it definitely has two. Oh, hey, look, it's the evolved Chansey. It's a Blissey. Blissey. No idea if I'm going to be able to keep it. Now I got out. They escaped. Oh, there's the little one. So you already have one. Oh, yeah, I, I do. But you know, I don't have Chansey. Yeah, we never did get the Alpha Chansey. Wow. Happenies are worth a lot of EXP, though. I I always thought that Chanseys were worth a ton of experience points in the game. Oh, it got out. Come here, EXP glob. Damn. No, nope, they disappeared. They poofed out of existence. Uh, it was the... Pop. Mishy. Mishy was worth a ton. Mishy. Yeah, it was the... Oh, what generation was it? Was it? Was it Diamond and Pearl? No, it gone. Um, Mishy was added in, in one of them. Oh, you know what? It was probably black and white. Uh, oh, off to the left. Her? A flame. Oh, yeah, you're right. But Mishy was added, I think, in black and white. And it was a rare spawn that when it popped up, it would give you like five to ten times as much EXP for it. Uh, compared to any other Pokemon mm. in the area. Similar to how, what, early Audinos and whatnot also got you. Oh, no, you're right. It is Audino. Mm -hmm. I called my Mishy. 
Oh, uh, wait. You <laughs> named it after me, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I did. Why? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, because it was it was like a dream Pokemon. And you would always talk about your, uh, like, being big on dreaming. Except it wasn't Audino that was the dreaming one. It what that was the weird dream taper. Oh, you're right. I don't know. Hey, maybe. Oh no, you just encounter both of them in the same zone. That's what mm -hmm. it is. Look, I don't know. People like the hot springs. Big manly bath. Except for Four the... dudes and a bunny. And a bunny. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm not going to interrupt that. <laughs> uh, it'd be n nice to go to a hot spring someday. At least have access to a hot tub. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I think a hot spring would be kind of neat. Especially, like, one of those that has access to, like, a... Uh, I don't want to say like a smaller private one where it's just like you. Yeah. No, there are, there are definitely things like that in certain states where there's more. I mean, it's definitely a activity? thing you can do in like Japan. Mm hmm. I have, I have no idea when we're going to be able to go to Japan. Mm hmm. I yeah. mean, who knows? Maybe, maybe things really will start to improve. I don't know. Yeah. That or there'll just forever be the ever-present threat. Yeah, but we like we got rid of a lot of other things. In any case. No, it'd be fun, especially since they what? They have their new Ghibli amusement park. Ghibli. Oh, there's the pre-evolved form of the Braviary. There it is. Oop. Oh, so tiny rufflet. Big hair day. Oh my god, I keep forgetting how big Scissor is. Uh, I think Scissor's normally six feet tall, but the fact that you got an alpha probably makes them ten feet tall. Oh, that's a, that's a bit dangerous. Oh, the fact that they're a flying type versus a bug. Please don't use double edge and knock yourself out. Oh, uh, it's false swipe. I see. Ow. So in retrospect, I should be looking for an alpha. What was there? Oh. Dang. What's wrong? Oh, I had a uh, a Pokemon alpha map open a little bit ago for this region, but it looks like I've tabbed away from it. It's okay. I just I just want to get big bird. Big hair bird. What's that in the water? Oh, uh, it's that fish. It's the bass. It's the yeah. bass. Yeah. Oh, but then you could get your own Basque Legion someday. I'm gonna be honest, just riding it is enough for me. Mm -hmm. I'm not really particularly jazzed about the idea of Having my own, to be honest. Wait, is that a Kadabra? Back, right? Yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah. Yep. Abra and Kadabra. Abra Kadabra. Alakazam. Alakazam. I always thought that was some great naming. <laughs> and their designs. I liked how Abra looked like he kind of had, like, armor. Hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, there's a flame moth to the flame. left. But there's some question on whether or not it's actually worth it. Mm -mm. We're not going to be successful in gathering them all. Like I could. Maybe you have that as a on your own time. Yeah. But I'll be honest. For like, fun deal. Eh. But there's always so much to do. Yeah. So many other games too. Hi again, hero. It's nice having someone new out there to play with. Safety in numbers or something like that. Anyway, here's Snowpoint Temple. I've opened the door for you. Just a little more chasing left for you to do. But the real question here is, 
Am I really having fun playing with you? Or am I bored? Hmm? Who's this other person? Oh. I heard what Warden Savi said. If you have Warden Savi's approval to enter, then all, by all means do so. But be warned, those who cannot solve the temple's puzzles won't get very far within. Yes, a puzzle temple. I've heard that the trick is to pay attention to which way the stone statues are looking. Come to think of it, I believe the statues have some sort of patterns on their chest too. Oh, this is going to be trivial. Well, let's see what it will be. It is true. But see, I was just talking about puzzle temples not long ago. Now we actually have one. 